Do you hate change? Do you avoid it? Are you afraid of it? Is it your nemesis? If so, meet me in the video. We're gonna talk about it. So I'm really not that afraid of change, but my husband, a different story. I mean, he doesn't even like me to move a chair in the room. He comes in, he's like, babe, where's the chair? And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I moved it. He's like, like seriously, why, why? But you know what? Change like that maybe is optional, but in life and in business, change is inevitable. We can't avoid it. It's happening whether we like it or not. I read an article recently where Jeff Bezos said, the better question for Amazon and really the world is not what's changing, but what's not changing. And I think that's so true. So what's not changing hopefully are your values in business, but pretty much anything and everything else is fair game for change. And if we're not on top of change, if we're not keeping up with it, if we're not being progressive, we're gonna get left behind. Think of the companies that were here just a few years ago that now don't even exist. Blockbuster, Sears, there's so many of them. And also then think on the other side of that, the technology side. The iPhone, the smartphone is only 10 years old, but it has revolutionized the way we live every single day. There's almost nothing in my life that I can't automate these days. Amazon can have anything I ordered on my doorstep by tomorrow. My groceries get delivered. I mean, it is crazy the way that the world works today. And if you're in a service business and you think this stuff doesn't apply to you, then you are absolutely wrong. You don't want to find yourself in the place that Blockbuster did. So let's figure out how to make change part of your daily strategy. So where could you change or even automate in your business? Is it with the service delivery? Is it how you meet your your clients where they are and what their needs are? Is it your business model? Is it the way you charge? Really being excited about change is going to help you move forward with so much less fear. And this is what we do in my Design You Coaching program. We go into all of these aspects and figure out how to innovate. And here's the thing, you don't have to change technically, I guess. Recently, I heard a lady online commenting on one of my webinars say, absolutely not. I will go down kicking and screaming before I change and let all these people that have come in to our industry really ruin it from the way it's always been. Well, I found it so fascinating because the only person that loses in that scenario is the person unwilling to change. So learn to embrace change, learn to look at it as opportunity. And if you want to be in a group of really progressive thinkers that are doing change well and doing it together, then join me in my Design You Coaching program because this is exactly what we do every single day. We look at the ways that we can be more progressive, that we can meet our clients where they are, and it is so much fun. So check out the resources below. And while you're there, also leave me a comment and let me know what you think about change. Are you afraid of it? Do you want to embrace it, but you just don't know where to start? Let me know. And thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you on another episode really soon. Bye.